Suppose you've received a large data set, it's unformatted and messy, and your manager is asking you some questions about it. Hey, I have some doubts here, do you have a second? So to answer his questions, we'll go over three essential data analysis skills, which are data cleaning, analysis, and data visualization. So let's get into it. Here's the Excel file, which you can download for free in the video description. And we need to make a few changes to the data set. Like suppose we want to merge the first and the last name into one column. We want to go ahead and change the formatting of the salespersons here. So it's a bit more consistent and a bunch of other things. Now, the fastest way to do that is using Power Query. For that, we're going to head over to Data. And under the Data tab, you'll see this Get and Transform Data area. And just click on From Table slash Range. It should select the whole data set for us. And we'll just hit on OK there. And from here, it's going to load up the Power Query Editor. And this is really where we're going to make all of the data cleaning changes. It's a lot faster than doing it using just Excel. So the first step when cleaning data is to remove any duplicates. So under the order ID, if there's more than one order ID with the same number, then it's probably a duplicate. So we can just right click on it and hit on remove duplicates. Whenever we make a change, it's going to be recorded under applied steps here. So you can always go back or you can even remove it if you wanted to. Then for the dates, they're currently formatted as numbers. You can see over here that it says whole number under date type. So let's go ahead and click on it and change that to a regular date. And you'll see that that changes automatically to the normal date format. Then we said we wanted to merge the first name and the last name. So select both columns by hitting the control key. We have both selected there. And then we just need to go to right click and we'll go to Merge Columns. From here, we want a separator, which is just gonna be the space sign for us. And we want to go ahead and call this something like Names and hit on OK. And you'll see how we've been able to merge the first name and the last in just a few clicks. If we keep scrolling through the data, another thing that stands out here is that the units have decimals. So if we're selling an item, we should sell it in whole, not a portion of it. So let's go ahead and switch this up by going over to transform. And from here, you'll find the rounding under number column. And we want to go ahead and change that to just rounding it up. And you can see there that we have the whole number. One final thing that we want to change is all of these salesperson column where they're not very well formatted. So we can head over to format under the transform ribbon as well. And first we want to go ahead and capitalize just each letter, so the first letter of a word, like so. And we also want to trim these spaces. So we can go back under Format and just click on Trim. Now that's looking a lot better. Now to go back to Excel from here, we just need to go over to the Home tab and then hit on Close and Load. And this is going to apply all of the changes that we've made. So you can see here that it's created a new tab for us. And this time it has everything cleaned up. We have the Queries and Connections in case we ever want to go back to it, we can just right click and hit on edit. But we don't right now, so we'll just close out of that. Later in the video, we'll look at creating some awesome visuals. But before that, let's get into the analysis section where our manager is asking us some questions about the data. Hey, thanks for cleaning up the data. If you don't mind, can you summarize the revenue column? So here, he's probably trying to understand what the average revenue is, what the minimum or maximum is and so on. So it's basically this whole revenue column here. Now we can do this with individual formulas like the sum, the average and so on. But there's a better way to do that. That's by going to the data ribbon and then you'll find this data analysis option. If you don't find that, just go over to right click and click on customize the ribbon. Then head under add-ins and you're going to want to select the analysis tool pack. Hit on go and select it from here. Obviously, I already have it for now, so I'm just going to click inside of it. Once we get this pop-up, we want to head to an area called Descriptive Statistics, which is this one here, and hit on OK. This is going to summarize all of our revenue data. So for the input range, we want to select all our revenue numbers. So just Control shift down there. And then for the output, let's say we just want it on top to the, to the right here. So let's say I just put it on M2. 
And then I'm just gonna put summary statistics. That's gonna give us all the information we want and hit on okay there. And you can see that it's created this whole set of statistics from, hey, what's our mean revenue? What's our minimum, our maximum, the total revenue, the count, and a ton of other useful data. Awesome, thanks for putting this together. Can you also show me the breakdown of revenue by salesperson? We can do this by creating a pivot table. So just go ahead and select inside of the data, go over to insert, and just click on pivot tables. Hit on okay there, and it's going to create a new tab where we can analyze it. Then under pivot table fields, let me just drag this along so we can see it better. We're gonna want to add the revenue, so that's gonna be over under values. And we're also going to add the salesperson, that's gonna be under the rows. And now we have that full breakdown, but as you can see, it's not really in order here. So we can right click on it, go to sort, and sort largest to smallest. And it seems like Anna has been the best performer for us. Thanks for that. Now for our next marketing campaign, we're trying to see if we should target more of a male or female audience. Do you have a breakdown for that? For this, we can still use pivot tables. So let's go ahead and select this first one, Control C to copy, and just paste it down below with Control V. And now we're gonna make all the changes. So this time, instead of the salesperson and the rows, we're gonna remove it. And let's add the gender in here. So we have the sum of revenue. Maybe we also wanna see the units. So let's go ahead and drag that in as well. Based on this, you can see that we should probably target females more as they're the bigger part of our audience. We can also get the proportion, so the percentage here, simply by right clicking on it and then show values as a percentage of grand total. So with that, you can see that we have 53% almost that are female relative to around 47 that are male. This is great. Thanks a lot for your help. Awesome. We can pretty much get any information on our data using pivot tables, but there's another AI tool that Excel introduced. So let's take a look at it. We'll head over to the table here under table one. And this time, instead of going to pivot tables, we're gonna go under the home ribbon all the way to the right where it says analyze data. So let's click on that. It's basically gonna create a Q&A box and within it, we can ask anything so before we did a pivot table to find the revenue by salesperson, we can also ask it here. So revenue by salesperson, hit enter there, and you can see that we get the exact same breakdown. So that's an awesome AI tool that you might find handy. And if you wanna learn even more about data analysis, you can check out our Excel for business and finance course using the link in the description below. We won't just go over data analysis though, We'll also cover formatting best practices, shortcuts, building awesome visuals, dashboards, creating large dynamic financial models, and much more. And if you get stuck along the way, you can always ask us, the course instructors, any questions in the discussions forum. And if you want more than just Excel, we also have several other courses on Power BI, financial accounting, corporate finance, and more. If that sounds interesting, check out the link in the description below. All right, back to the video. Now that we've cleaned up and analyzed the data, let's look at how to visualize it. And one of the easier ways to do that is using conditional formatting. So you can see over here that we have the, the breakdown that we did earlier with the revenue by salesperson. And suppose we want to visualize these numbers over here a bit better. We can go ahead and select them and then just go over to conditional formatting under the home ribbon and then we'll select the data bars. Let's say we go for a red one over here and you can see how easily we can tell the proportions now and just how much Anna brought in in revenue. Another great visual for data analysis is a scatter plot. So over here we have the cleaned data set and suppose we want to see if there's a relationship between age and revenue. Maybe older people tend to spend more money. So let's go ahead and select both just by clicking on the H here and hitting Control shift down arrow. Then we'll go back up and for the revenue, we want to keep hitting that control key. So we also have this selected and again, Control shift down. From here, we'll go over under insert and right in the center here under charts, we're gonna wanna select the scatter. 
So this one right over here. To drag this back up, just hit Control X and then scroll up to the top. And let's say I put it over here to the side with Control V. So it does seem like there's a bit of a trend where the older they are, the more money they're spending. We can look at that closer with a trend line just by right clicking and going to add trend line. It does look upward sloping. We can even go ahead and add the display equation so that we can see the numbers more precisely. So here's the equation. And basically what this is telling us is that for every increase of one year in age, revenue goes up by around $340. So overall, it's fair to say that the older they are, the more they're going to spend. One final visual we'll look at is a box plot which is great for finding outliers in the data. So over here, let's suppose that we just take the revenue by hitting Control Shift down. Then we're gonna head over under Insert again. And this time under the very center here, we're gonna click on that and go to the box and whisker. I realize this is a funny looking chart. So let's go over and explain what it's saying. So the line right here, which is quite small, is the median. That X is gonna be the average for us. And then these top and bottom parts are the extremes and these two here are the quartiles, the first and the third quartile. And if we had any outliers, they would be showing us dots up over here or down over here. Just to show you quickly, let's say I put another zero in here. I'm just gonna put a huge number. You can see that it starts to show as an outlier there. Let me go back so you can see this again. For more on data analysis, check out this video over here going over five awesome data analysis tools or take our Excel course over here and I'll catch you in the next one.